Good day, everyone. My name is Toyo C. Labeodo, the principal immigration consultant of Trulink Email Services. Um, there's an update on proof of funds for our clients in Nigeria, and I just decided to make this video so I can explain it in depth to you and um, you can take action on it as soon as possible. I did a video a few days back where I gave um, an hint about this that proof of funds for Nigerians may soon change and I tell you right now it has actually changed. But before I go on, I want to advise that you follow us on our social media channels. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're also on LinkedIn and we're also on TikTok. Our handle is at Trulink Travel. We're also on YouTube, so don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And it's truly in trouble. Just look out for us, and um, we post so many videos that would educate you. I'm sure you love them when you watch them. So just go, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. And don't forget to hit on that bell notification button so that when we post any video, you'll be the first to get to know about it. Now, going back to the topic I want to briefly talk about proof of funds value for those living in Nigeria has changed. Actually, before now, we use the rate we use for calculation proof of funds is about three fifty between three thirty and three fifty, depending on the rates that they use on that day. But because of the new CBN policy, where they now use what they call floating rates, so that means they don't really have a fixed rate. They use a range of rates depending on what is available on that day. So for now. That means the rates can fluctuate between 350 Canadian dollars, 350 Naira to 1 Canadian dollars to 600. So if you are lucky that they use 350 for you, the rates will still remain the same. The value will still remain the same, but if you are using 600, then it's going to go up. So let me give an example. The average school fees in Canada is about 20,000 Canadian dollars, while your living expense for one year is about 10,000 Canadian dollars. So let's say the average student needs like that thousand Canadian dollars for a one year program. Now, before, what we just do is multiply this rate by 350. So it gives us around 10 million naira. But now that they use floating rates, <laughs> you can't be exactly sure of the exact value they will use. It can range from 350 to 600. So, my advice for her clients and for anyone who wants to study in Canada is when you are calculating a proof of fund, it's better. To use 600 to multiply the amounts you need as of today so that at least you are sure that you have much more than what is needed in fact as of today the value that the canadian government uses is around 450 but that that value will not be fixed it's going to be fluctuating it can be higher it can be lower than that so if you have if you use 450 as of today you are still fine you are good but you can't we can't be sure that that's what we we'll use tomorrow so my advice for our clients or and anyone who wants to study in canada or who needs proof of funds for anything th uh, that has to do with canada it's not just for students alone it's for student tourists even pre, pre applications it affects them to use 600 it's better to use the high, higher rates but if you cannot we can always help you check the rate on that day and in a letter that we're going to write we're going to tell them that oh the rate on this day at this time is this that's what we used but you know it's always better for you to show that you have a little or even much more than the minimum and that's why i am recommending that mix of 600 to multiply uh, the canadian value of what you want and that will give you the naira value so if your proof of funds is 30,000, which is the money you need for one year if you are studying in canada if you multiply that by uh, 600 it's going to be almost 18 million naira naira but if you multiply by 450, which I said is the current rate that they use as of today, that the Canadian government uses as of today, it's about 14 million or thereabouts. But it's safer to use the higher rates. You know, we can you can always, always reach out to us. We can help you. There, there are ways we can help you calculate it so that um, you get the the exact amount you need. And we can always look at the daily rates that the government of Canada uses. So we can use that to calculate your proof of funds so that um, you won't have issues with proof of funds. The embassies can be very funny. You, your, if your proof of funds is 
uh, less by one dollar or one error, they can refuse your, uh, your application on the basis of proof of funds, and we don't want this to happen. That's why we're actually putting it out. So please, for those of you that are about to submit, you need to work on this. For those that are client link up with us, we're going to guide you on how you can add those funds to your account so that it doesn't uh, raise a red flag while, while you are doing that, you know. So don't forget to follow us on the social media channels. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on LinkedIn, we're also on YouTube. We post so many videos. Just go to those channels. I'm sure you'll love what you see there. See you guys.